Okay, today I'd like to tie for you a grasshopper. I'm going to use a 9672 size 10 from Mustad. I have it in the vise and I have the barb crimp down. The thread I'm going to use is olive. This is 6 aught thread. And I'm going to attach my thread and put down a base to the back. And I'm going to stop the thread just where the barb would have been. And for the body, I'm using this foam. It starts out square. And this is what it looks like. I take the lighter and heat it up a little bit and then curl it in my fingers to get the desired shape skinnier here that's going to be the head there's going to be a lot more material in this section so that'll be okay so I'm going to let the body hang off the back there a bit and I'm going to tie that in right there snug it down tight with two or three wraps and now I I'm going to put a hackle on and I have a olive saddle hackle and I'm going to tie it in by the tip and I'm going to tie it in just like I would if I was tying it in by the back. I trimmed a little bit and I gave it that haircut and I'm going to tie it in right there. I'm going to give it one turn over the top of the foam and then I'm going to take it underneath and secure it right to the shank. and bring it back I just want to make sure I got a good cover of thread and now I'm gonna stop the thread approximately one-eighth of an inch from my tie-in point and I'm going to tie down the body Put a couple wraps right there. Snug it tight. And I'm going to move it up an eighth. And I'm going to put a couple wraps right there. Snug it tight once again. Move it up. Put a couple wraps right there. And I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to wrap my hackle. I'm going to take one whole turn at the back. Then I'm going to move up, placing the hackle turns right in the segments. And I'm going to tie that off right there. But I'm not going to clip it. Okay, I'm going to take my Swiss straw for the wings. And it started out tan, and I used a permanent marker on it. And I used olive first, and then I put some black on there, and then I rubbed it off. And you can see my fingers are dirty from it. But you get a nice natural look to the wing when you do that. And I want these to be about the length of the body. And I'm going to tie that in there. A couple turns. And I'm going to take the opposite one. And I'm going to tie that in on the opposite side. And I'm going to secure that with a couple of turns. One, two, now I'm going to pull these straight, I'm going to lift up the head, I'm going to wrap in front of the foam now, I need to 
pull that hackle out of the way. There we go. And I'm going to secure that wing right in front. A couple of turns and I'm going to snip it off. And I'm going to snip this off pretty tight. And I'm going to secure the wing tighter. And bring the thread back behind the foam once again. And now I'm going to put the legs on. And the legs are pheasant tail fibers that I knotted. And I'm going to tie them in right where the legs were. Right where the wing is. And I want them just slightly longer than the tail. Get, my, get that hackle out of my way good there. Tie them in with a few wraps right there. Take the other. I'm going to tie it onto this side. Same length as the first. Now I'm going to lift the head once again. And secure them in front and remove the excess and once again just tie that down the rest of the way tidy it up and bring my thread up now I'm going to fold the head over And I'm going to secure that by putting a wrap just about in the middle of that section. I'm going to take my hackle. There we go. That's better. Three looks good. And I'm going to secure that down. And I'm going to take my razor blade and trim off the excess. Put that on the side. I'm going to cut off those couple that are under the... Right there in the front. And now for the overwing, I'm going to take natural deer hair and I'm going to tie them in right on top of, right in back of that head. Put a loose loop, another loose loop, and then pull. Now you can secure them, holding them on the top so they don't spin in the back. I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to wrap in front of it. I'm going to take my scissors and trim the head even with the foam. Trim the butt sections even with the foam. Push a couple of these forward. There we go going to bring them up. I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to make the head underneath tie off underneath the foam. And then give it a whip finish.
And then I'm going to glue it. First, I'm going to put a drop of glue right in there. Then I'm going to glue underneath. There we go. And here we have our grasshopper. I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I enjoy making them. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you for watching my videos.